It is finally Brewers opening day, and Jackson Sherry would have his debut and start off with a walk and a stolen base. After that, Jose Quintana would give up a single to Christian Yelich. Fastball Freddy would be on the mound for the Brewers, and he'd have one strikeout with a 1-2-3. Jose Quintana would get the first two outs, give up a single to Joey Ortiz, and force a ground out to Gary Sanchez. Jeff McNeil would ground out in second. Freddy would throw this inside fastball to Starling Marte, for a home run, making it one to nothing Mets. After the home run, DJ Stewart would get walked. He'd get picked off. Then Francisco Alvarez would strike out. The Brewers would go one two three. Then the Mets would go one two three. Christian Yelich would hit this hanging slurve right down the middle, out to right, for the home run, tying it up at one. That is a Yelly bomb for Yelly's mom. Jose Quintana would throw a practical one two three, except for a Blake Perkins single. Freddie Peralta would throw another one two three. Gary Sanchez would fly out, then Andre Monasterio would get walked. Jackson Trio would get his first major league hit on a single out to right. A William Contreras sack fly would make the Brewers have the lead 2-1. Christian Yelch would hit a single, Drew Smith would come in, and then Reese Hoskins would strike out. And again, the Mets would have another 1-2-3. I'm sensing a theme of spring training, because now there's just instant 1-2-3s again and again. Make that three 1-2-3s in a row. Jorge Lopez would replace Drew Smith. Jake Bowers would hit his first hit as a Brewer. Bryce Ring would hit a single. Then Jackson Trio would get a sacrifice, making it 3-1. to one. A William Contreras double play would end out the six for the Brewers. Seventh inning, Trevor McGill would come in. He'd give up a walk and a 1-2-3 after that. Michael Tonkin would come in, give a walk and a interference, which I'll show. McNeil says something along the lines of F-U saying... Hoskins is like, what is that? Hoskins goes, where, where? Yoel Piams will come in and throw 1-2-3. In the bottom of the eighth, the Brewers would go 1-2-3. To end out the game, the Mets would go 1-2-3, and Abner Uribe would get the save. All right, the Brewers win 3-1. The record is now 1-0, and the Brewers' respective Brewers player of the game goes to Christian Yelich with the solo home run.